what's up everybody? I'm Matt Gary, and in this very special episode of Coding with the Force, I'm gonna teach you how to lay Easter eggs around your org. All right, everybody, so today we are gonna figure out how to lay Easter eggs in our org to spice up the lives of the many users that use our systems every single day. Because let's face it, even though you and I might think the things that we make are cool and interesting, Janet from sales is really not having the time of her life in Salesforce. So let's fix that for her. I've already set up an Easter egg in this org, so maybe let's just try changing the stage of this opportunity to see what interesting new thing might present itself to Janet. Yas, get that money. There is no way that Janet was expecting that. And now she's had her mind blown and her entire day has changed. And you've brought that wonderful joy and splendor to her life. But we can't stop there. We need to be able to surprise Janet and all of her friends that work in our Salesforce org everywhere within our Salesforce org. Anytime they change a field, they shouldn't know what's about to happen next. So let's figure out how to mix it up for them. So first things first, you might be thinking to yourself right now, Matt, almost every single tutorial that you've made for this channel requires me to know how to code to some extent. How can I, as a person that's not technical at all, bring this wonderful joy to all the Janets in my org? Well, I've got great news for you today. You don't need to code at all. You need to know nothing technical. It's all point and click configuration. You just gotta create one custom metadata type, install one unmanaged package, create a static resource, and you're done. So let's figure out how this actually works. But before we get into that, make sure to smash that like button. The first thing we gotta do is install the Trail Shred Audio Player Unmanaged Package. It's created by Salesforce, so you know it's gotta be good. I'm pretty sure that they didn't intend for it to be used for this purpose, but that is really none of my or your concern. So once you've installed it and you see it show up in your installed packages here, you're good to go. The next thing that we need to do is figure out some audio that is going to surprise the users in our org. You can pick whatever MP3 or audio that you want to have played, but I'm going to record my voice again saying something completely ridiculous. I'm over here in Adobe Audition, and I'm gonna delete this audio file that I just made, and I'm gonna record my voice saying something completely outrageous that honestly no one should hear including yourself, but I'm gonna do it for the users of my org. You're doing incredible today. You should treat yourself to some Taco Bell. There is no way they're gonna expect that. And honestly, it's gonna do two things. Number one, surprise them, and also, in all likelihood, bring Taco Bell back into their lives. And that is going to be a surprise adventure that no one expected. So let's go on ahead and export this audio file. Again, you probably don't have Adobe Audition, but you can record your voice on anything, right? And we'll say um, Taco Bell Surprise and export it to my desktop because honestly, if it's not there, I'm not gonna find it. And we'll hit OK, export it, and we're good to go. Now we just need to come right back over here into Salesforce and head over to static resources where we can make a new audio file static resource. So let's go to static resources, click on the new button, and we can name it whatever we want. We'll call it Taco Bell Magic, because why not? And we'll go find our audio file, which was Taco Bell something or other, Taco Bell surprise, yeah, there it is. 
and we will make it public and save it. Now we've got our audio file static resource and we need to just make sure to copy the name of it. Otherwise, we'll have to come back to it later and waste more time than we need to. So let's go over here to custom metadata types now and uh, we'll go back custom metadata types so you can see the whole path to success and we'll click on the manage records for trail shred settings and in trail shred settings we're going to go over and create a new custom metadata record for it and we'll call this uh, opportunity taco bell and we'll have to make sure that it's active don't uh, make it not active or it's not going to play for you and chances are high you'll be a little bit sad and we will copy the name of our static resource we just made again we literally just made this thing and its name is taco bell magic so we're going to find our opportunity object now now on this object name over here and the field that we want uh to trigger our wonderful easter egg on when it changes and then let's see we've got one for closed one but uh maybe uh when it's in value proposition we want this to happen so we'll go back over here to the custom metadata put in value proposition and save it and believe it or not you have just made an easter egg it was that quick that simple let's see it in action i'm going to reload this page and then we're going to change this opportunity to value proposition and uh, make somebody's day. You're doing incredible today. You should treat yourself to some Taco Bell. Yeah, Janet, yet again, no way you were expecting it. And quite frankly, I hope you have a wonderful day after you listen to it. Now, there is one last step that we need to go over to make sure that these magical Easter eggs are everywhere in your org. And that's it, we've gotta place the Trail Shred audio player in our actual App Builder page. So, let's figure out how to do that. We'll go over here, hit Edit Page, and once it loads, you will see that there is a little invisible component down here at the bottom called the Trail Shred audio player. And all you've gotta to do to add this is type in trail shred audio player grab it and drag it anywhere on the page that you want and that's it that's all now you can put dozens if not hundreds of easter eggs in your org to wreak havoc on the lives of your users all right guys that's it hopefully you get to bring a magical wonderful adventure to your salesforce org and your users will maybe love you for it anyway i hope to see you next time thanks so much for watching i'll see you later